Hello, this is Theodor Geras and here is another look of the week. Today we will continue talking about the Phrygian dominant scale. As you can see, I have my acoustic guitar here and today we're going to apply the E Phrygian dominant scale over a Latin, a Latin rock bossa nova situation. So, let's go straight to the scale. Again, as I told you before, it's E Phrygian dominant scale. The same pattern like the last two weeks, part one and part two. I will start the root on the lower string. 12th fret I'm coming closer to the camera in order you to see the fingerings and my picking hand technique 12th fret 12th, 13th, 16th on the low E then 12th, 14th, 15th on the A 12th, 14th, 15th on the D 13th, 14th on the G 12, 13, 15 on the E, on the B and the N, the top E string. 12, 13, 16. Of course, the root is a very important note. Also, the major third is very important note. So is this note is very important. This note gives us, you know, this Eastern flavor of this great scale. major scale over it because we have the root, major third and fifth. So now the bucket track is in 140 BPM, 140 and the chords I'm using is are E major from the root, F major is the flat 2, then again E major and then G sharp diminished. Okay, is the third degree of the E Phrygian dominant scale. So, let's go straight to the scale and to the bucket rack. 140 BPM, I will play something slow for you. something you know melodic and in order to show you how you can use the scale don't forget the root and the major third this note the G sharp is very important so it was the look of the week this guitar actually is a, is a, a cheap no normal acoustic guitar that I bought about 10 years ago for a second hand shop you know about 100 euros so this guitar is not something special anyone can have a guitar like that so as you can see, I'm not an acoustic guitarist, but you know, I'll give a try for you in order to show you how you can use over a Latin acoustic situation the E Phrygian dominant scale. So, download the back track, try to play the scale over the back track, and then you can start improvising and make your own scales. Also, you can make your own videos over the back track and post them on YouTube, and you know. It's cool to show you how you can use the scale to the world and gain things from the look of the week that I'm doing for you. So, 
Thank you for visiting this video. It was Theodor Ziras. It was the link of the week. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel every week. The subscribers are getting stronger and the views also are getting stronger. Thank you very much for that. Don't forget to write your comments and your questions under the video and I will answer them as soon as possible. So thank you for your support. Don't forget to check my new CD Territory 4 with Marco Miniman, Alex Argento and Carl Honea. The intro and the outro of the video, the music is from this CD. I hope that you like it. So until next week, bye bye.